and is available on next gen and PC. Apparently a disease spread on banknotes has hit the US and has caused the US to crumble. You're part of the strategic homeland division of kind of sleeper agents who come out when the world needs them to save the day. You've got 72 hours of food and water to survive and you and your friends, because it is a co-op slash multiplayer game, there's areas called Dark Zones where you can engage in PvP and once you're outside those, it's a PvE game, you've got to figure out what's going on in probably one of the most beautiful looking versions of New York we've seen to date. If you saw my 2014 to 2015 list, you noticed it was quite a bit higher in that. To be honest, numbers don't really matter, and these are more interesting than showing you 15 games which are interesting. Which is why I haven't put Call of Duty and Assassin's Creed in, because obviously they come out each year, so you know they're going to be coming out. But I just feel the game has become a little bit more generic, having seen some gameplay of it, than I first thought it might be. So, it's one to watch out for, I feel, but it's a little bit different to how it looked in the previews, as is often the case with Ubisoft games. But someone's got to be there. follow that up with a pun. If you've played any of these games, do us a favor, leave us a comment, tell us exactly what you thought about it. If we missed any, of course, share them with us as well. The goal is really just to celebrate a great genre. While you're at it, click the like button as well as subscribe to Game Ranks. Come back here daily for new videos. We thank you very much for watching this one. We will see you next time.